Hello and welcome to Where the Living Room Used to Be, a podcast about Rhode Island's music scene. Hey everyone, it's James. On this bonus episode, Chris Guerrero passes along some advice he first heard from his father, as well as his rationale for what he puts into his live performances. As always, thanks so much for checking this out. Hope you enjoy the episode. And uh, if you'd be so kind, please make sure to follow along on Facebook and Instagram at Living Room UTB. What would you say is the best piece of musical advice someone may have given you? Um, there's a couple. My dad always says, uh, you know, and I mean, a lot of people have said this, but the first time I heard it was from my dad. And, you know, he said, if you do what you love and you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. You know, I mean, again, you know, my dad's a musician uh, and being a musician, like it was in my, it was in my family. It's in my blood, you know, and I just, and I love playing music. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't play music every day. I can't remember the last time I like actually practiced guitar in like a formal sense. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's what I love to do. It's what I want to do more often than not. Yeah. Um, and you know, so I would say if you're going to, the best piece of advice, you know, and I think what he was getting at was like, if you're going to do it, you need to love it. Mm -hmm. Um, because if you love it, then you're not going to half-ass it. Mm -hmm. You know, you're going to put your all into it and you're going to create something that's really personal and really beautiful and really special. Mm -hmm. Um, and the other best piece of advice I ever got was, uh, someone said, you know, it doesn't matter if you're playing to five people or 500 people, like you should bring your A game regardless, Mm -hmm. you know? So like, you know, I, I like to think that I'm a pretty animated, uh, musician and I, I move around a lot and I let the music kind of flow through me and, you know, move me around and Mm -hmm. this and that. And I try to, like, bring that same energy, like, regardless of what the show is. Yeah. You know, if it's just me playing in front of my two friends, I'm still going to be just as amped as I am if I'm playing, like, a sold-out show to, you know, a thousand people. Yeah. Okay. Um, because it's not it's not about who's there or, like, or, you know, like, where you are. It's about, like, what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, again, just, you know, if you're, if you're going to do it, do it. Mm-hmm. Don't, don't half-ass it. Don't be... You know, like, oh, well, this, you know, there's only a few people here. This sucks. Like, you're there to play music. Mm-hmm. Like, you're there for one reason. And, like, the people who are there might be important people. You know, mm-hmm. like, like you want to, like, you know, I want, like, the person who booked that show, like, I want to give them a reason to book my band again. Okay. You know, whether or not there are a lot of people there, whether or not I might want to go back to that town, I want to give them a reason. I don't want to waste their time. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? I want, I want to prove to them that, like, well, you know, maybe they didn't do the best job of booking the show, but at least we can, like, I can prove to them that, like, we came guns blazing. Yeah. Okay. You know, we, we came to bring what we do. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I think a lot of, you know, a lot of bands, you know, lose sight of that. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, okay, well, there's only a few people here, so we're just going to, you know, kind of tone it down a little bit. Like, no. Yeah. Like, if you're, if you're an intense band, be an intense band. Like, from start to finish. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, like again, if you're gonna do it, like you need to do it, and nice. and you need to do it the way that you know you believe it needs to be done. Yeah, okay. And similar to that, like with everything you've done from recording countless records and booking shows and booking tours and stuff like that, like you know, is there a piece of advice you give from your own experience to someone? I mean, I guess sort of tied into what I was saying, like just like if you love it, don't give up. Yeah. Okay. You know, just just keep doing it. If it yeah. if you're able to, and if it makes you happy, just keep doing it. Yeah. Just, um, like find a way. Or... Just find a way, even if it's just playing like an open mic night or you know playing a local show every now and again. Like if if that's all you can do, do it. Mm-hmm. Um, you know you're going to be happier, and you know the world's going to be better off having creative people actively participating in it. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, I'm I'm able to like still go on tour and like be in bands like. I don't want to say full time, but like sort of full time, mm-hmm. um, you know, and I, I'm, I hope I never stop doing it or I, I hope it takes me a long time to stop doing it. Yeah. Okay. Um, but it's because I love doing it, not because it makes me money or it, you know, makes me popular or, you know, whatever I do it because it's, you know, it's part of who I am. 
Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And you know, and it, and if you love it, don't let it go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just keep doing it. Cool. Do what you got to do. <laughs> nice. Thanks so much, Chris. Yeah, of course, man. Thank you. Thanks again for listening. As you heard in the full podcast, most of the releases Chris has put out were on Tor Johnson Records. But in 2013, he was part of a Rhode Island hardcore compilation that Atomic Action Records put out. Uh, this comp had eight bands all head to Machines with Magnets in Pawtucket, and they collectively recorded 16 tracks in just three days. Here is one of the songs by Weak Teeth. Uh, it's an alternate version of a song that you later find on their album, So You've Ruined Your Life. I'm going to post links in the show description to both of these amazing Rhode Island record labels. So go buy some stuff and enjoy the song. Right.